Yo, 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 guys, it's Lamborghini Mercy in the building, the queen of highlights, over to the world. I'm excited to have you. How are you doing, babes? I'm doing great, thank you. Uh, uh, you arrived, this my show. From weave to shoes, you are dripping. Please put your hands together for Messi Lambo. Oh, Messi, let's Messi. Mm. Messi, okay. Mm. How far now? Mm. Thank you for arriving here, even if you took like two hours to get here. It's the traffic. It's the traffic, right? Yeah. Where are you coming from again? If you live in Lagos, you will know there's traffic. I love it. <laughs> Good to see you, babes. I wanted to have you on this show since because every time that we link up, it's always you're always a vibe, but I've Aww. never sat down with you to just just So today's my day. Hate How are you me. feeling? Are you excited to be on the show? Yeah, I'm excited and I'm also are you small ne- nervous. Us. You're nervous, have you? No, 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 we win. We we'll just, just do what we just normally for streets, you mm. understand? I'll try. Uh-huh. So, Oweri to the world. Tell me about Oweri. That's where you were That's where you were born, right? Yeah. You were raised there? Yeah, born and what raised there. What was it like? Um, born and raised in Oweri. Um, it's just what I've I've known before yeah. um, before this whole thing. Yeah. Um, we are six in numbers. I'm the last child of my parents. Mm-hmm. Um, I schooled in Oweri, did everything. In fact, I left Oweri 2016. So you, you were born and raised in Oweri? You're Every, the last child? Yes. Are you the last born? I may be last born, no. You? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you the last born? Yes, I'm the last born. What? Because cause I've seen a couple of clips from you and how you're very involved with your family and mm-hmm. how you try to help and cater for everybody. I never. I thought you were like the first born, right? No, I'm the last child of okay, my so parents. Okay, so that num- being the last child... Tell me about the position in the family and how you relate to your other siblings and the rest of your family. Um, you know, um, God has a, a way of doing things and, yeah. you know, blessing who he wants to bless and yeah. making you the breadwinner of the family and stuff like that. So mm. sometimes I don't, I've never get to like question God sometimes, like oh, why yeah. me, why me? But all I can say is thank you, God. At least there's somebody from the family that is... Um, well to do, yeah. Mm. So I'm the last child, um, schooled in a way, with the help of my mom. I finished school. I did what I got to do. Mm-hmm. I left away, like I said, 2016. Mm. So why I'm saying this thing, some people really don't know. When they say, um, when they talk about my accent, mm-hmm. Igbo accent, all those kind mm-hmm. of things, and I look at them, like, how, how do you want me to speak? Abby? Abby. I school for weary, primary, <laughs> secondary, and only service carry me come off for weary. How mm. the fuck do you want me to speak? Fair. So, you know, you know what is so interesting about you? Mm-hmm. No matter what we say about your accent, no matter how we try and talk, you cannot be bothered. You, you just they move, they go. What is it about you that makes you just say, you know what, regardless of whatever they say about me, mm-hmm. I'm still going to move. I'm Mercy Lambo. Because um, originality. Yeah. This is me confident this is me so and i've seen a lot of people like mm. i admire a lot of people and most of the top people in the world mm-hmm. like christian Renat, um, ronaldo mm-hmm. how does he speak with an accent with an accent i love it or his language and he's the world most famous people adore him mm. but here in our country they want me to speak give me some bar <laughs> <laughs> or i kill you there <laughs> This is gonna be a very good episode. I'm here for it. <laughs> Wait, Messi, let's go back, right? Yeah. Oweri. Because mm-hmm. I really wanna understand that girl from Oweri. Yeah. And you now, I just want a proper juxta- juxtaposition. Mm-hmm. Let me use that word, right? So this is you, young Igbo girl mm-hmm. from not so well to do background, right? Mm-hmm. Right? Because you eventually became the breadwinner of, or you are the breadwinner. From a poor background. From a poor background. Because yeah, just... I wanted to just tone it down because I if know. you say poor, I will mm-hmm. go with you. But mm-hmm. I wanted to tone it down, right? Yeah. So, growing up in this background where mm-hmm. you guys have n- not so much, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. how did you now start aspiring to be more when mm-hmm. all you've known is mm-hmm. lack mm-hmm. at the mm-hmm. time? Mm-hmm. Determination. Yeah. They hunger to like, you've seen everything, you've seen everybody. Mm. Is that how you want to end up? Is that what you want to be? Is this, mm. is this like, it's just you, your mind, you know, wrestling all the time. Mm. Like looking at things around you and you keep asking yourself, is this it? Yes. No, I need to break out. I need to break free. Yeah. And whatever it takes to break free, I will do it. And that was where the determination and the hunger for success came from. Okay. Yeah.
Africhange is a remittance company that leverages blockchain technology to help you send money from Canada to Nigeria and Ghana. You can literally send money in seconds. Whether you want to send money to your family members to eat, to buy a jam form, to pay for a property. If you are building a house in Nigeria, you can literally send with no hassle, no middleman stressing you out. So all you need to do is just use my promo code TWT. The first 100 people get 2% bonus on registration. So now go and download it on App Store and Google Play Store and enjoy. Tell me about the relationship with your parents. Um, um, I was born the last child. Mm-hmm. Um, I started schooling. My dad used to be an artist. You know, the local... the Musician? Yeah, local musician. Like and he used to sing? Yeah, he, no. Yeah, he used to sing. He mm-hmm. used to be one of... Um, Orinta Brothers, yes, Akusa Orinta. Oh, wow. That's my dad. So um, they were traveling a lot, and it was just us and my mom growing up. Yeah. So my mom was my dad, she was my mom, and she was everything to me. Mm. And she tried her best to see me through school, mm. primary, secondary. Me and my siblings were very close because... It's only us that we know. It's just me and them and my mom. Yeah, so it was just um, us and my mom. And Mm -hmm. then my mom used to... um, She used to sell mama food. So we were doing that when I was in secondary school. Mm -hmm. Then from that, (laughs) she graduates to selling fuel on the streets, like black market. Oh, wow. So um, we moved to selling black market. It was actually me and her because... I was the last child, yeah. so she always take me wherever she's going to. Yeah. And I was doing that. Then I was writing jam at the time. Mm. Then from there, I got admission into the university, Imo State University. Mm. Um, yeah, I went to school. And that was how, as God may have it though, I ran away from selling fuel. <laughs> <laughs> so I was now in school. Um, finished school, service. I went to Abuja. Mm. And from there, I stayed after my service. I'm like, huh, this place, get us a view. Let's quickly sip some Lipton. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you, Lipton, <laughs> for keeping it refreshed and allowing us to express this human connection. Um, wh- while I was in school, then Big Brother started. Because mm. I started auditioning while I was in school. Really? Yes. What year was this? Even when Coco went for that one, I, w- I auditioned for that one. Wow. Yes. But I wasn't big. Even Beverly, the one Beverly went to. I saw Beverly at the audition. This that was Big Brother Africa. Wow. So, you know how. So you've always wanted Big Brother. Yeah, four four times. That's four years. You tried four times to enter. You know, enter. Mm-hmm. I tried Why you not times. stop? Why didn't you stop at some point? Because I, you know, I felt like I've seen people from nothing to something mm. without any qualification, without any. You can. You, this is just, you just come as you are. Mm. So if it, if they don't take you, you have times and times and opportunities to try again. So that was just it for me. I'm like, if they don't take you. But I knew that my redemption would come from that show. Because I've seen actors and how long it takes them to blow. Yes. And stuff. There are some people who have since 10 years, you know. Yeah. They never still blow. blow like that. Mm. So... But this one, once you know what you're doing, once you, you know you can do this, mm. just go there and be yourself. And I knew from the onset that Big Brother will bless me. Why were you so confident after four no's? What after- else will I do? Just tell me. So I don't want to ask at the time. Yeah. I don't see myself like, oh, can I do this? Can I go for auditions? Like, I felt like it's just this is just an easy way out of whatever situation yes. I was into. Yeah. If I get picked. Mm. And there is no money, there is no form, it's free of charge. So, mm. and I'm single, I never marry, I never get picked. <laughs> it's not good, there has to do when it doesn't That's time to move on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, you, you used to come from Abuja from, to come audition? No, I used to come from Oweri. Oh, so but, you started auditioning from the uni? Yes, I've used Night Bus before to audition. Jehovah. To come for audition. In fact, I had my shower in a taxi because. I go enter night bus soon. We stop at Bini. I didn't know we're not coming straight to Lagos. So I have to. We now um, 
slept over in Benin. Mm-hmm. Then after 6 a.m., we started the journey again. Then I got to Lagos like 9, 10. Audition, I said, audition is like, eight, but that's 8 o'clock. Mm. 5,000 people is already at the audition. What did they tell me? What did be 5,000? So, you know what I, I know. mean? So, I got there from the taxi I took from the park to this. I was there. I brushed my teeth. I changed my clothes. And I wasn't even picked. They told me to try again next year. Why didn't year. you stop? That's the problem. You know, I don't know. I think... It's just that thing. I don't know what it is that was still that was still pushing me to keep trying. There's mm-hmm. no harm in trying, like mm-hmm. but I knew that one day and if I'm picked, I was gonna win the show. So um before Big Brother, you were actually a bit popular, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I mean you had a, a bit of fame before Big Brother, right? Mm-hmm. The transition from being that girl mm-hmm. to somebody who was now Famous on a national level. How, how did how how did you handle that? Okay. Um. Then I've moved to Abuja. I was now serving mm-hmm. like Snapchat. You post. So then you started, you know, meeting girls, popular girls, being friends with mm-hmm. some popular girls. So that puts you out there. It's not like you're doing anything, but you are popping. Oh, now now from Snapchat ninety 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 four. Now Anna. Yeah. When, you buy, when you buy Gucci, like three buses, Ooh. post them, girls go out. <laughs> girls go <laughs> out. You pop up and they go say, who be that gear? Wow. Who did they give that gear money? So that was how Ooh, people started, started talking to, about you. Started. Yeah. So on the streets, mm-hmm. you were already popular as Lambo. No, I wasn't popular as Lambo. It was in the house that was given Lambo. All right. Yes, I went in as Messi. Okay, so Messi Eke. Yeah. We were popular from Snapchat. Were you popular on Instagram? Too. No, I wasn't popular on Instagram. I didn't even have followers on Instagram. It was Snapchat. So, but before you went to the house, you mm-hmm. were already popular in Lagos. It was Lagos. Messi the Boss Chick. Messi the Boss Chick. And Snapchat. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Messi the Boss, my brain. So, you, when you buy designers, because mm-hmm. we're moved by physical you know, things, yeah. like material <laughs> things. So, some <laughs> girls were like, who is she? Mm-hmm. They want to know. Yeah. So, you're, 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 of course, you're a pretty girl. Mm-hmm. So, combined with your beauty... Mm-hmm. Your designers, mm-hmm. they already know who you be, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. But when you never like got into the house, right? Mm-hmm. Did you have support from people who already knew you from Snapchat, from everywhere? Yeah. I had a lot of support, especially from from Lagos. Yeah. yeah a lot of guys, girls, mm. they came out for me because they already know me. There's nothing. Like, I went in there as myself. Yeah. I didn't hide anything. I didn't sugarcoat anything. What you see is what you get. Mm. So... Yeah, when I came out and I saw that a lot of people rooted for me, I was really, really impressed and happy. Did you believe that you were going to win? Um, no, at first. In fact, my first week in the house, I wanted to leave the house. Why? Yes, I, I thought about leaving because I'm like, this is just what I wanted, just to be in the house. When I come out, I know myself. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to sell. You know, I'm going to mm. do things. I'm going to, like, I'm going to work on myself. Mm. I've been a hustler. Someone that have roasted corn, sold food. There's, not, there's no job that I cannot do. do you I roasted feel, corn? Yeah, I roasted corn. Just on the, by the roadside? Yeah, by the roadside. With your mom? hmm You said corn? I said corn, no. Please tell me about that face, please. <laughs> so when my mom was selling fuel mm-hmm. at the roadside, so when she goes out, we buy corn. So me, I'm in one corner selling my corn. So that's how you know it's a filling station. So right. she's there. So you just so I would just be there selling corn. When I finish, me and her, she finish, we we'll go home. That's how we were hustling. The rest of your siblings, Uncle? Uh, my sister then was married. Mm-hmm. With her husband. Yeah, yeah. My husband is like, so she was married. Then my four brothers. You know these guys. The one of my brother used to once once, but at the time they are all grown. So and you can't, as well. yeah, and you can't really force them to come and be selling first. So I was just the sacrificial lamb that my mom will always drag to that road. So yeah, and I can't say no. But at the time you were a young girl, right? Mm-hmm. And I was very young. You, you were not ashamed. You just did the work because that's what ashamed fe- fed your family. Ashamed, something that will that will that will put me through school. So if wow. I don't go, who now pay my school fees? I was happy because I was even getting money from there. Mm. And if you said 20 liters, you come off small money now. <laughs> you, you, I was balling far from this fact. I love the business. Ah! <laughs> so, so you've always been this hustler girl? Yeah. So big brother, right? Mm-hmm. You go into this house. You are one week into the house. You want to leave because, yeah. I mean... So you actually 
already thought to yourself that you know what let me just enter was so your goal wasn't to go and win the money it was just to just enter to be seen no let me just at first my goal was to stay in the house i didn't see myself as a winner but i wanted to stay in the house till 99 days and that was why when i was doing my audition i was buying clothes when i knew how many days we were going to stay i bought clothes in fact i did one day three outfits for 99 days. Bad bitch. I calculated the Sundays in that 99 days. I will not repeat any Sunday eviction dress. In fact, I had extra in case something happens. That was how prepared I was. That I I just said, okay, I want to be to the... Like, when I was in the house, didn't you see? I, I told them that there is this my clothes I wear. I must wear this clothes <laughs> for my final this, you know? <laughs> So I kept it and I just... Wow. It was just fate, you know. Mm. My fate was so high that I knew... I'm like, if I... If I'm here to the finals, then this is what I'm going to wear. Mm. So, but while in the house, then that's when I started seeing myself as a potential winner. Mm. That's when I started having that confidence that, okay, this thing is not as hard as I thought. You can actually do this if mm. you find favor in people. This is not about the housemates. It's about viewers. It's about people that are rooting for you. I'm trying to reconcile your background mm -hmm. and how you grew up with mm. this sense of style. You know what to wear, you know what not to wear. Mm. Where, where where did all this style come from? Okay, um, I think it started from okay, while I was small, while I was still very small, my mm -hmm. sister then um she used to have friends. But my sister was an actress, she did like uh, maybe three or two movies. I think she mm -hmm. did one movie, Swimming with Sharks. My sister was in the movie, so she the was Nigerian film. Yeah, Nigerian mm. film then. So mm. um she was a very hot girl and then she has friends that always came to chill in our house. Mm -hmm. So she brings them home. So when they come with their bags, I go enter the bag. <laughs> Mercy. They could beat me. Wow. <laughs> oh no, you go enter the bag and collect their clothes. <laughs> ah, Mercy. I go enter, ah, I have children in now. Stop. Enter our sports. <laughs> I go enter bag now. They will find me come school, come disgrace me. No lie! No lie. So yeah, it was from there. And... Sometimes my sister would just tell them to leave me, but the girls, mm. most of the girls are just, I don't know where they are oh, right so wait, now. Wait, wait, wait. So your sister would bring her friends to stay over? Yes. So they don't stay over. They will come with their bags. They will stay like one week, two weeks in our house. Okay. So you will come, you don't see the clothes where they, where they carry? They'll be hot space that time. <laughs> now. And I get events. <laughs> For school. How old were you then? Love me today, you are this dead town. Wait. So you could also say, ah, this look good for this place where they go. But you don't even have your own clothes like that. No, how would you? I don't have clothes now. Oh, buy for me. And it's trousers. And then I wanted to be wearing trousers. But growing up, they didn't allow me to wear trousers. They didn't because oh, yeah. Yeah, I came from a religious background. Yeah, I have uncles, uh, pastors, and reverend fathers. Yeah. Also, but your sister, they wear trousers by the time. Because she, she don't, she don't break through. She don't, no, Co you're not feeding me. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah. But... They were mm -hmm. feeding me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. So, like, you can't go collect clothes like that. Go, you don't go ask them. I don't go, ah, ah, you're the tea Say, go ask them. <laughs> <laughs> so, they can't find you for school, collect the clothes? Uh, sometimes ah. they can't find me for school, collect the clothes. So, but did, did you have, like, references? You used to, like, magazines, like, TV, like... No, at that time, I just trust that one wear. Trust that any top. <laughs> there is nothing like to <laughs> at that time that does that one and that year as a baby girl if you wear trousers all the boys going to look you for school trousers with a leg they flag bare bottom you can't wear small top spaghetti top <laughs> you can't do packing jay you can't put small stone for breasts <laughs> <laughs> I'll be for church <laughs> That's how I do worry like that. If you if you be small if you be small enough, you wear trousers and a big auntie they wear trousers. Mm. So all those guys who want to tear eyes small, whether they read like 16, 17, mm. they call the good fine trousers they buy. Or sometimes they people carry each other for bag first free school. They call <laughs> wear for like school. party and this mm -hmm. thing. So that was that's what that's what you were doing. Yeah. Then with your half, you know, that time with your half cut, you can't collect small stone or pepper. <laughs> Roll them like this, come put them for chess. The lie. How you want we are trousers? We are everywhere flat. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Also, oh wait, you can't roll small stump for breast. Uh -huh. Make it give you small. Oh, so the breast go stand. Make it give you small shape. That time breast never come out. This was like you. How old were you then? I don't even know. 
<laughs> okay, so oh, but what was it obvious that there was something there? No. So you have a half cut inside, like there's this thing. I don't think they wear it anymore. I'll be kind of... It's not coming, so it's like a half cut, it's just a bra top, mm -hmm. very short, but it's not like a bra, it's just it, like a spot bra. Right. So you just put something there, bam, bam, then you wear the top. But avoid people from touching you or pushing you. <laughs> See, as they're coming, move. Don't let anybody. Dis so you just guard your stone, come corner. Oh, yeah, it's a thing you can't do like this. Jesus. One day up, one day down. <laughs> no, anybody ever catch you say you, did, you put something? Um, just the girls. Yeah. Yeah, the girls. Because when they see you today, the next day it looks different. The breast more. Uh, the next day. Because you can't get and you won't keep your your yeah. consignment. Now you go to change them. Like your own stories, it's just funny how I can relate to your mm -hmm. own stories mm -hmm. because I think that I I I ride Okada to say my thighs can't be very I said to you that the reason why my thighs are like this is because of years and years of squatting slash Okada. I don't know if you rode Okada too. Mm -mm, I didn't. This is the way you go the wall. I don't know how to ride Okada. Okay, the punishment. The punishment. Uh, I wish Okada. Uh, I ride Okada. If I if tell me now. No punishment. Not me. Uh, the punishment now. But how how did we not change even with all that beating? We became stronger like that. Were you even doing anything bad? I swear. We were not, we're not doing anything bad. We're just trying to live. We are mm. children. We are. We're just growing up yeah. and we're doing what it's not only you. When your friends come, when you put this, ah, my father even flew me yesterday. So you see that it's normal thing. We're not doing and it's not only you. <laughs> not really the not only you. <laughs> <laughs> so now we just conclude, say, ah, the wicked self. Maybe no it's just in that in fact, my papa go out say, may no even come back. Then from there they were how they go. Then there are ones when you do something, when you're coming back. There's this grass that I want green grass. You now go to the grass, you now pick it, and you say, Mommy, Mommy, I'm tying your mouth. I'm tying your eyes. You will not see me as I step into this house. <laughs> you now tie it. <laughs> so I entry from. Do I go grab you? <laughs> that thing does not work. It not I work for me for one God. day. I've been at the time where we say, We go, we go don't go play, eh? We say she we don't play, play, play. We don't sweat. As we just sight her, because we don't say she don't first see us. <laughs> she just raise face. We go run, go, go, go bath quickly. Then go, they shower, they sing, they dance. Now from that shower, they go to drag us here. You want to be wayward? I will beat you. <laughs> ah, no, the time when I thought that they didn't like me. It's so funny how parenting has really changed to mm -hmm. love and care. And mm -hmm. I think that's the only way they knew how to parent. That, yeah. Sha. That was what they, they know from their yeah. own parents. So me and you, now this is not how I'm going to raise my own kids. My own kids. I'm going to raise my own kids in a, yeah. very, in, in a way I'm comfortable with. But I don't think beating my child would be that way. Yeah, I'm going to discipline my child. Yeah. Because my, it's still there, my ass, and my mad do myself. I go do and small. <laughs> I go do and small, make no, picky, no spoil. Yeah. I, but, but not like the, the one they used to do to us then. I think my own problem with that type of parenting is that we didn't know what we're getting beat up for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you sneeze, you beat. Mm -hmm. So we're so scared to even connect with our parents to the point where we can even tell them things because yeah, yeah. if you tell them, your mama say one body toast me, they go still beat you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You said, when I see you, you know, I mean, the body uh, toast you. Why did you go there? You you go there? You? When you see you, they, you understand? You could not tell your parents things and that's why a lot, a lot of times a lot of people were abused. A lot, a lot of things happened yeah. back in the day but I'm, I'm thankful that parenting is changing. We're more mm -hmm. open to... Mm -hmm. Everything um, is conversations with our kids, yeah. right? As an aware babe, you came to Lagos, mm -hmm. you have your accent, you're still that girl, right? Mm -hmm. And you're mixing in a space where all the girls are a bit spree spree. And you roll in circles where everybody has an, probably has an accent from, mm -hmm. the, from the UK or mm -hmm. America. Mm -hmm. But you still manage to shine and stand out, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Regardless. Mm -hmm. you, don't you ever feel intimidated by these other girls? Mm -hmm. Don't you sometimes want to try and change or mm -hmm. pretend or I've, I've I've never felt that way nobody I don't think anybody can intimidate me why most of these girls apart from the proper proper London girls most of these girls they sound horrible with their accent Jesus. they don't know yeah <laughs> drag them by their weave exactly so why would I want to be intimidating when sometimes when you even pronounce something even you some of them can't... also you know the one way sound terrible uh -huh. So you said with your own, you could laugh them. See, look oh, at my this one. Look at this one. Now you want, now you want shank. <laughs> Cannot shank me. Wow. <laughs> I'm in my originality. You, you can't even like. 
Yes, majority of them. Does it be yourself? Do mm-hmm. you think that it endears people to you? Like, do you think that people like you more for being Lambo? Like, yeah. being herself? Yes, I think that's... I think I, I attract people that really like the real me. Mm. This is the girl. There's nothing to hide. There's nothing to be um, intimidated by. There's absolutely nothing. I'm doing pretty well. In fact, these girls, they admire to be me. They want to be me. They want to, like... They want to be in my circle. Yeah. So there's nothing there. This is just me. I communicate. You understand what I'm saying, Chebi? You know, well, you know what's interesting about you? Mm-hmm. It's the accent, but you speak English. You speak proper English. Yeah, they want it's just to, the accent. Yeah, they want me to change it. To what? Mm-hmm. Now, this accent that they keep me about you. So, like, <laughs> best you go, does they, you they boss my brain. I, I don't know. Like, I really want to get this level of confidence in my life where I just. You just do you, because that's what you do, literally. Exactly. Um, but and you're not so bothered about like in, lots of memes have come out about mm-hmm. you. The one where you said, uh, uh, "What's that popular meme?" Um, Which one? There's so many this, of uh, them. Some something in Lagos. That's not how we run in Lagos. Ah! <laughs> that meme burst my brain. When that meme came out, mm-hmm. right? How did you feel about it? Because you wrote, you wrote on it immediately. Like you even you posted know? it. You did a challenge. Yes, because I was selling my show. I'm on DSTV, honey, on Premium Channel. Hey! Nice, what nice. That was, I was selling my show. I was promoting my show. So I needed that. And you know, in this country, nothing is only the negative thing that solves yes. whatever you're selling. Yes. So yes. if I go out there today and feed one, one million people, nobody's going to repost it. Nobody's going to talk about it. Mm. But when I do one small thing, see my show, hash one, the ratings go up. I love the it. The ratings... Do, 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 and what else can I ask for? Sometimes it's a blessing in these guys, but they don't know. So now, post BBN, right? Mm-hmm. You didn't go into acting. Mm-hmm. You did not become a musician. You know, <laughs> you understand? But you're still relevant. How have you stayed relevant for this long? Because one thing Chloe said is that it's one thing to go for Big Brother. Mm-hmm. It's one thing to stay relevant a year, mm-hmm. two years after. This mm-hmm. is the third year after B- mm-hmm. BBN. And yeah, this is the third. You are still as relevant mm-hmm. as the time that you went yeah. on like some of your mm-hmm. other housemates that you went to mm-hmm. Big Brother with how, how is it that you are seeing this relevant up until now? That's what I'm saying just being me imagine if I change for what people want me to do mm. so I think because it's just me this is who I am this is what they know me for mm. so each time I do something in that direction it's unique it comes out as it's, in fact I'm one of one one of one period so I'll be here forever but any day mm. no matter how how I, I advance in whatever I'm doing in schooling or something mm. any day I change from this person mm. to that to being like everybody everyone else it's finished there's no there's no difference between me and them anymore so right now there is a difference this is me Wow. And that's what makes me stand out. So you, you recognize your uniqueness. Yeah. And you stay there. Exactly. Regardless of whatever people think about it. Hi, Amalabo. please. <laughs> this is a very powerful conversation. Because, I mean, like, I mean, we're in Lagos where everybody's pressured to mm-hmm. want to change, want to fit in. And fitting in is what a lot of us are doing here. Mm-hmm. We change our looks, we mm-hmm. change our style, we change everything just to fit in. Mm-hmm. Right, but there's no pressure on you to do that, right? It's just basically you mm-hmm. present yourself. But mm-hmm. I so also know that you're like a material girl, mm-hmm. your face, good, your body, you like things. to look good, and you've never really <laughs> hidden the fact that you have done a couple of enhancements just to mm-hmm. even look prettier than mm-hmm. you are. Like, why are you so why are you so open about the things that you've done to yourself? Because some people really, really hide. They would rather tell you that they drank a uh, twenty <laughs> liters of mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to add weight, to mm-hmm, grow mm-hmm. a butt and everything. But why are you so open about it? You even did your body before you got into mm-hmm, the house, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. And you were so open about it. What, this is, and this was at the time when people were still confident to talk about work they've done. Yeah. But you already spoke about it. Mm-hmm. Why, why? You know, because I did it for myself. I did it to, like, enhance my confidence. I mm-hmm. know I wanted to look good yeah. in what I wear. I'm into fashion and... And getting it right, I have to look. I have to have a certain type of body for myself. I feel like those ones that are hiding from me, maybe they don't have the confidence. They feel like maybe they're doing it for someone. But I did mm-hmm. it for myself. I did it to sell 
my business. Yeah. Like right now, I model my 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 M and M luxury. I model my fashion brand. Oh. So when I pay other um, other influencers, influencers, it doesn't bring except yeah. when I wear it. When I wear anything, bad. Guess to buy. So I did it for myself. I did it for my business. I did it to look good. Because yeah. I now look. Girl, you look fire. You, know, <laughs> <laughs> you look fire. So, yeah. So I don't think there is anything to be ashamed of. You know, mm. enhancing your body. People are bleaching, bleaching. If you, if you know, we talk about them. Um, if you know, it, it's all the same thing. It depends mm. on the one you are doing. Ooh, that's another form of enhancement. Yes, because that is not how God created you. Ooh, shade them. <laughs> so if you want to drag me, you wear the bleach about that. Uh-huh. Okay. You wear the put lashes way long like that. But all these things, if we talk about it, it's the same thing. Mm. If you think you are that you are that girl, leave yourself like the way God made you. So why are you trying to touch one or two, mm. you know, piercing seven ears, ten ears, nose, mouth? Mm. It's the same thing for me. So if you can do that, I can actually alter my body too. It's my body and it's your nose. Mm. No, but I'm being honest. I don't know why people like, they found a tea, that, but they are, in fact, now in Nigeria. Ha, <laughs> my sister. <laughs> Everywhere you turn, bodies oh, uh-huh. and dress become... So, They've seen the light. <laughs> so you know what's so funny, right? <laughs> Some years ago when people started going under the knife, mm-hmm. right? You find girls who would judge them so harshly. Mm-hmm. Right now, those girls who they judge so harshly. They don't do third round. They are in their fourth. They are, this is their fourth <laughs> body. This is not the first or the second round. Fourth, fourth, fifth. They've adjusted, altered, and mm-hmm. Lagos has become that city like LA. Yeah. Because just look at it. Imagine, imagine you're there where they talk about girls. Can't die. Can't see go air fire. <laughs> you lose. Some people there, yeah, they enjoy, they go. If you're judging someone and then boom, because that shall not judge. It's a sin. And you don't touch your body or you don't enjoy. They go fear. We wait to touch our body, we can't make out to heaven. heaven you because we're not the judge. I will not even do bad things. And God love us like this. It's sad. Ah, yeah, about sh- but like, is, is there pressure on you to maintain this lifestyle? Because you have become this star that people even reference. Girls want to be like you. Mm. Girls want to have your body. Girls want to wear what you want to wear. Is there pressure on you to maintain the Messi Lambo brand? I won't, uh, I won't call it pressure from my own okay. perspective. Um, I would just say, yeah, people want so much from me. People want me to be this. They throw you. They, you know, they compare you. They do a lot of things. But from my own side, yes, I want to. I still want to be relevant. I still want to make money. Mm. I still want to impact lives. I still want to help. You know, this money, I want to be, I want to be in a position, I want to get the kind of money that I will be in a position to help people. Mm. Without that, I don't think I'm rich. I don't think I've gotten there. Right. If this is my small money, I for just myself. I want to like, <laughs> you know, be in a position to, oh, I've helped this community. Mm. That's the kind of... Money. So... Pressure, people, mm-mm. that's I'm not even looking at anybody. Really? I'm just moving in my own space. Yes. So trolling and conversation about you doesn't get to you. Sometimes it does. Mm. We are all humans, yeah. Sometimes it does. When you see some things, especially the lies and yeah. the the things, you know what goes on social media now. Yeah. yeah, sometimes because and then you can't even defend yourself because yes. who are you who are you going to reply? Yeah. A faceless person, a faceless blogger, hiding that. Like, what am I? What am I going to even say to you? Mm. So sometimes you just wallow in your, you know, anger. You just mm. stay. You just wish. I wish I can just say it as it is mm. and show people proof. Yeah. But when you look at it, for what? For this person? No, they don't. They don't even. It's not worth it. They don't want. They don't want a response from yeah. you anyway. Yeah. So the trolling, it hurts mostly because they say horrible things to you and. It makes you, you know, especially when they put it on, especially when they put it out there, mm. it's already on, on Google, the blogs, yeah. put your name, so all the bad, yeah, all the bad lies. So when, imagine mm. someone that doesn't know you coming to you, mm. oh, I like you, pretty girl, mm. what's your name? Oh, come this and this is the person you don't know, the person, fiam, Google. don't go put Google. The first thing you see, Best mercy. Lambo cuts in. Yeah. You single, like, are you... 
on the, are you on the streets? Are you this, waiting for mingle? This question. Streets can pay anything to, to, to get this. <laughs> You've not heard. They say I've been married. I've been this. Like, yeah? I'm, yes. Ah, they say you're married. Yes, now they say I'm married. Which are you married? I don't, that's why I don't marry two times for street. Ah. So. so I don't carry belle. Say she's oh, you should just get one time to you get belle. Not see where they never give me for street though. I don't. I don't marry. I don't even bump picking. Ah, you think I want picking for weirdo? No, no. I know. I wish. I swear. Oh, you, you want to have kids? Yes, I wish I had one. I oh god. Oh, yeah, myself, nah, I don't oh, yeah, agree. Nah, agree for any bros with. Uh, which kind of brush? There will not be any brush. <laughs> you have to marry a special. No, it has to be. It has to be worth it. Now, I can't... I have to get it right. Mm. So, at this stage in my life, I have to get it right. But I imagine this thing is hard because there are too many people who are on your case. You're a pretty girl. Mm. You're a star. How do you filter which one is going to be best for you? How do you make decisions on dating? That's why it's good to, like, you know, date, be with the person... Mm. They can't hide forever. So, by being with that person, you would see the things that you like and you don't like. And if you try to talk about it or try to like, like teach that, mm -hmm. not teach, like let that person, that some things your partner will do that. Oh, you know, you just so, so you just watch them, mm -hmm. how they adjust to it. Mm -hmm. But if, if it's how they are and who they are, maybe, and you too, he might see something that he doesn't really like and both of you, see, I've, it's just, all this thing, I'll try your luck. Would they do? Because just they try to go. May the best one win, no? May the best one win. But I'm a lover person and I give love and mm. I'm a warm. That's what. Aside What's my your friends, zodiac? Um, Libra. Are you a Libra? Uh -huh. I'm a Libra. See where we get along. Libra, they love life. Eh, uh -huh. I be Libra too. Our hearts that. Now, yeah, deal. This is our sleeve like this. I'm a Libra. Oh, yeah. They love you. I feel, I feel better today. I don't plan marriage. I will go to do the marriage. What we go do? But now they break their heart. Pass. And we're very. Yeah, that's why I said no. See, I said we easily fall in love. Yes, but we fall out of love. I can be so numb after one week. What is one week? Two days. If you do any, I yes, don't, now I've moved now. I don't move, and so don't be, don't be. I move because I really want to move. But if you do any, yeah, I because just, my heart, yes. like I feel like I deserve more. I feel like yes. no, I shouldn't be going through this. Yes. I feel like ah, why me? You know that. And like, then I would just take myself out from that situation. Mm. It's not like I want to be out there, but it's better for me than you know keep being in a place that I'm not wanted or I'm not valued. So yeah. that's just it. Guys, uh, Mercy Lambo has been on my couch. If you have any experience that you can relate to, please drop it in the comment comment section. I'm particularly excited I'm about to wrap up this season. Oh, God, it's been crazy. But thanks to Lipton for keeping us refreshed on this beautiful season of TVT. What? Is that a Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you, Extra Strong, for keeping us strong on the show. <laughs> sip some tea. Yeah, this is how you This is how you sip your tea. I don't see you go get up. <laughs> Same place we fuck up. Have a great day, guys. <laughs> Enjoy. No, no, be having a good day. Share, subscribe, like, tell a friend to tell a friend. Comment. You know they do weekenders, so you say you can also watch for YouTube, no call, subscribe. Not, not be better to see me that because I don't watch the full season. No, 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 subscribe. Please subscribe. <laughs> Thank you.